This is Channel 90 live broadcasting from Aruba, the tropical paradise regarding the Caribbean and Central American bodybuilding and fitness competition here right this weekend. Here we have with us Dr. Andrew Ford, the medical, um, uh, he's the medical secretary uh, for the association. How is it going? It's going very well. Uh, the championships seem to be a very well subscribed championships with lots of athletes in, in great condition. And I'm also here as the president and the manager of the Barbados team. And I wear another hat, which is the secretary of the medical commission for the CAC BBFF. And we uh, monitor and we do the drug testing here of, of all the athletes. And how long have you been the, the, medical, the secretary of the medical um, commission? Okay, well, that's for two years. I've been also president of the Barbados Federation for four years. And I've been the manager for about six years now as well. Oh, that's uh, cool. Um, in Barbados, how do you see uh, the, the motivation for the youth regarding this sport? Well, we have a very good youth program. I think our problem now is with the recession and the, the cost of preparation for bodybuilding competitions. But uh, we have a youth championship every November. And in the, those championships, we see maybe 40, 50 uh, athletes who are between the ages of, of 8 to, to 20 and there's lots of motivation. Uh, we're trying to really make the connection and the transition between having people in the youth program and in the senior program because we lose quite a few every year. But in Barbados, we've been working on bodybuilding and we have a very rich history in bodybuilding. We've won these championships about 27 times already out of the 37. And uh, we're defending champions two times and we're back again to do our best. But it looks tough this year. Lots of good athletes here this year. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how do you see this particular competition at your island? Well, it's, it, this is going to be tough. Uh, we, we expect still to, we have a tradition of finishing in the top three and we, we aim to perpetuate that, that tradition. And we'd also like to win some of the categories and, and maybe an overall or two if we're lucky. Hmm, well, we wish you all kind of luck. Um, Andrew, I'll leave the mic up to you so you can say hello to whoever you want to say hello to. Um, to the internet, it's going to be on until uh, the competition. And um, you can also thank whoever you want to thank. It's up to you. Okay, well, I'd, I'd like to thank the people of Barbados uh, for supporting the team and also the Hilton Barbados for helping to sponsor the team and the National Sports Council of Barbados. Uh, I'd like to thank all those uh, bodybuilding fans, uh, thank the athletes for being so dedicated and, and working so hard. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family, uh, my wife Sherilyn, uh, my three children, Shanice, Andrea, and Andrew. And I'd like to thank Aruba for being such wonderful hosts. This is the second time uh, I've been to Aruba for bodybuilding uh, championships. I've been here at least four times, uh, once for dermatology. Two, two for dermatology because I'm a dermatologist and, two, and this is my second championships here in Aruba. It's a wonderful island. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, you guys know how to treat visitors and tourists and, and I think uh, Barbados can learn a lot from you with tourism even though we're big on tourism. Uh, Aruba is a, a wonderful place. This is from the heart, Andrews. We want to thank you for your time and I wish you all kind of luck in this competition and your island. Okay, thank you very much. Good night.